So you were peacefully and blissfully using your windows. That is, of course, if you can describe using windows a peaceful and blissful experience. And all of a sudden, you cannot duplicate your display on your second or third monitor anymore. This feature used to work like a week ago, but now it doesn't. Before I give the solution, I will make a few assumptions. So I assume that you know, Athena too, how to use the actual computer. So things like opening device manager don't scare you. Second, I assume that you have already tried installing and reinstalling and performing a clean install of uh, GPU drivers in the proper way by using a dedicated third-party DDU utility, since Windows doesn't provide one, and you have to resort to third parties for essential utilities. And I also assume that you are using Windows 11, and it was an update to Windows 11 that broke the feature. And that is exactly why this video won't be evergreen, since probably sooner or later Microsoft will release an update which will fix the issue. Of course, you can probably roll back the updates and restore your Windows to a previous version, however, I advise you strongly against that, since it will make your Windows instance even more garbage than it already is. And the reason why this bug was overlooked is because probably no one actually uses display duplication. Most people who do have multiple monitors will usually want to extend them rather than to duplicate the same image on all of them. And by the way, I also assume that your monitors run at the same resolution, otherwise screen duplication won't work. But since you insist on using screen duplication, you probably have a relatively rare use case. Even if you have a TV, for example, connected as a second monitor, you will probably extend rather than duplicate the screen. So the reason why you want it duplicated, you're either using a projector or you're also using a VR headset. And this is the first fix. It seems that the issue may be caused by Meta Virtual Monitor, which is a virtual display adapter created by Oculus Link, which is a special software to mirror your screen on one of the Meta headsets on Oculus Quest, for example. So what you could do is to either disable this monitor or uninstall the Oculus Link software altogether, then reboot your computer, and this should fix this issue with screen duplication. However, if you don't have a streaming virtual headset connected to your computer, or you do have, but you plan on continuing using that, you could try another trick. Someone online suggested that disabling HAGS, which is Hardware Accelerated Graphics Scheduler in Windows, may fix this issue. However, it mostly won't. And also, this setting is only available on NVIDIA video cards, and as for AMD, your video card has to be Radeon 7000s or newer for Windows to actually have this toggle. But nevertheless, you may try disabling HAGS especially if you also stream to a VR headset, since this feature seems to cause only problems with Oculus Link and similar software. Anyway, if that didn't help, what you could do is to disable your GPU in Device Manager. First of all, the brand of your GPU doesn't matter. It could be Intel, it could be AMD, it could be Nvidia. And also what doesn't matter is if you do have only one GPU, like on a PC, for example, or you have a dual graphics laptop. That doesn't matter. Also, don't be worried. Even if you disable the GPU in Device Manager, it will still work. You will still have output on your display. So after you disable it, enable it back, and then within 10 seconds, you must enable screen duplication. So you must either have that window setting open before you disable and re-enable GPU, or, much better option, use Windows plus P hotkey combination on the keyboard to open this menu where you can duplicate the screen. And in this case, duplication will be re-enabled, and it seems to work until either you open any full screen application or one of the monitors goes to sleep, which often happens with TVs, for example. And this is how you re-enable screen duplication, at least until 
Microsoft fixes this issue. To make this process a little bit faster, what you can do is to download CRU, which is another well-known and well-renowned third-party utility to manage displays and display drivers in Windows, since Windows doesn't come with one. So in this utility, there is a small additional utility which is called Restart64. And all it does, it restarts your video driver. And the only thing you need to do that is to run this little utility with admin privileges. Since you only have to click on it, it will be much faster than all those clicking to reach device manager, open up your video adapters, disable it, and then re-enable it. You can also write a small batch file, which will enable duplication, and you can combine both of that in a single batch file with a few seconds of waiting time between the two commands. So this is how you can continue to use screen duplication until Microsoft fixes its bugs, which will never happen. I'm the god of YouTube! Like, subscribe, jingle bells.